Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sacred Acorn Devlog. This is Vivian from A Few Dragons and I'm excited to share our progress updates with all of you. So let's dive right into it. Uh, so we haven't been to very many events so far this year. It's been a little bit quiet on that events front, um, but we did get to go to GDC in San Francisco. So for those of you that don't know, GDC is the biggest game developers event of the year and it was great to spend time with other game devs, talk about current and upcoming projects, and just be reminded of how huge and diverse the games industry really is. It was really inspiring to be among so many talented devs and also to hear that people are really looking forward to the Sacred Acorn releasing later this year. It was just, it was a great experience, and we're so glad that we got to go yet again. More importantly though, um, we've been making some great progress on developing the Sacred Acorn. Uh, it's kind of astonishing really how far we've come in a little over a year. Um, for context, this is some of the footage of what the game looked like at the beginning of 2023, which was just before we received our Green Australia grant. Uh, you can see here that we had done some of the art updates for the thickets and had really only just begun creating the new art for the canyon but hadn't added it into the game yet really. And um, this is some footage of what the game is looking like now. Um, you can see we've added even more to the thicket including some new enemies and um, We've made sure there are going to be plenty of secrets for players to discover. I can't show you those yet though, you'll have to wait until the game comes out. Um, we, we've also been making some changes to the mush plume caves. Um, we've added a bunch more enemy encounters, um, a whole heap more obstacles, and um, we've uh, really built on those terrain elements to make the region feel more alive. We think it's really like super fun to explore now compared to what it was previously. And of course, uh, the biggest changes since the beginning of last year has been in the regions that you get to explore later in the game. So the canyon looks and feels so different, but so much better with all of the new art. And players are going to have so much fun exploring here. It's a really, really big um, area. Uh, the highlands also look completely different now to what they did at the beginning of 2023. Um, we've uh, completely changed the color palette of the, what that region looked like previously um, to make it seem less dry and more like what you would encounter in the Scottish Moors. And one of my favorite parts of this region is the maze-like marsh that you can explore. Um, the enemies here are also some of the cutest in the game, in my opinion. Uh, then there are the regions that we didn't even have art for at the beginning of last year, but now look amazing. Uh, the tundra is a wintry wonderland, and we think players are going to love finding all the secrets in this part of the game. Um, this is also the first region where Emma will get to help um, another squirrel tribe, and also where you will encounter Vargest, the uh, guardian of the tundra, and one of the enemies that you get to see on our... Um, game art if you have seen the game art in the um, Steam store. And then um, there's the Obsidian Cliffs and Mount Rhyolite. Um, last um, game devlog we really only showed the tiniest sneak peek of this area but um, here's a little bit more of a reveal. Very similar to our other regions this one has several parts. Um, it's got the pools, uh, the cliffs, and it's also got a big city, um, as well as the middle of the volcano where Balscoria, the guardian of the region, lives. Um, this point of the game is going to be pretty challenging when it comes to enemies, and I can't wait to see players traversing its perilous paths. And while we've been doing all of this updating um, art and building out all of the regions, we've also been working really hard on the music. Music for us is really important for the game. Um, and the music for each of the regions is unique and really helps to create the right atmosphere 
and a sense of immersion, so that immersive experience for players. Here's a medley of some of the new never before heard tracks that we're gonna uh, that we are gonna have in the game. And another thing that we have been making some really big changes to is the UI for the game. Uh, we wanted to make more user-friendly and we, or we wanted to make it more user-friendly and accessible. And um, you can see here that the menu is much bolder, much easier to navigate, much easier to read. And the dialogue boxes are much easier to read as well. We'd love to know what you all think. Um, but we think that it's a really good um, change that we've made um, when it comes to UI and usability. And if you've watched this far, we want to express our gratitude for your ongoing support. The journey continues and we can't wait to share more updates, more sneak peeks and more squirrel adventures with you. If you haven't already, we would love for you to join our Discord community so that you can see exclusive content and early updates. And of course, make sure you dive into our demo and don't forget to wishlist the Sacred Acorn on Steam. Links to our Discord and the Steam page are listed in the description below. Uh, that's kind of it at the moment for this devlog, but until next time, uh, keep gaming, keep smiling, and keep being awesome. Thanks all.